G'day everyone, here's a, uh, a video on integrating in the form this guy here. Now, uh, this video is kind of in response to one of my students uh, saying they didn't kind of understand what was going on here. So I'm hoping I can explain this a little bit better, uh, why this works and when you see this, how to do it. That's my, that's my idea. So let's start with a question that's not in derivative format. Let's just start with a, uh, a y equals uh, let's go with 4x, uh, I'm going to put a squared, plus 3 squared. Okay, actually I'll make that cubed, make that cubed. So if that was my question and I was asked to differentiate, find the gradient function, find dy dx or y dash, what my rule here is, this is chain rule. So because this is chain rule, I've got to take the power out the front, so that would be a 3 out front, Multiplied by 4x squared plus 3, lower the power by 1, and multiply by the derivative of the inside, which would be 8x. So that's going to be times 8x. Just check that. Power out the front, lower the power by 1, and multiply by the derivative of the inside. This part cancels out. Okay? Now that's absolutely fine, and I can tidy that up and say y dash equals, let's multiply these two, uh, what's that, 24x brackets, 4x squared plus 3 squared. Now, this is going forwards. Now what I want to do is I want to look at this and say how can I make that go the other way, okay? Remembering that this here is our differentiation, but I want to do this which is going to be my integration going the other way. Now, because all this is here, it's going to make it a little easier to do. I need to get it in this format here, in this sort of idea here. I need to see that the derivative is out the front. Well, if I rearrange this a little bit, let's rearrange here. Let's write this, and you're going to see I'm breaking it back into here. Let's see that we've got 3 times 8x brackets, 4x squared plus 3 squared. So now what I want to see is that this is the derivative of that. Don't worry about the 3. This is the derivative of that. So that part there, that part there is in this format right here. Okay. Now also the 3. You remember, if I was to integrate something, let's just come across here. If I forget all this, if I was to integrate 3x dx, then you don't integrate the 3. You're only integrating the x term. So this would become 3x squared over 2 plus c. So you never integrated the 3, just stayed the same. So here's what we can do in this case. I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to take the 3 from there, and I'm going to put it there. I'm going to bring it out front of the integral sign. Now, that means that this part, right, let me rewrite this. This part becomes x squared over 2 plus c. Okay, just this part here. Just that there becomes that. And you're saying, yeah, but what about the 3 there? Okay, well, let's multiply that in. So therefore, if I multiply 3 into all of that, wouldn't that be the same as me writing a 3 here and a 3 there? Now you're thinking, hang on, but what's going on with that 3c thing? Well, remember, we don't know what c is. So it doesn't actually matter. 3c or just c, it's the same thing. It's just adding a constant of integration. We don't know what it is. We'll figure that out later. So even though you might say, but I've got to multiply the 3 into the C part, you actually don't. 3 times something I don't know yet is still something I don't know. So just write C. So here, this part, when I want to write my integral in this format, right, the 3 bit I can bring right out front. Right out front, not even worry about it. So integrating this would mean I'm going to raise the power by 1, divide by the new power, sorry, raise the power by 1, divide by the new power, which in this case is going to be handy, that's going to cancel out, not always, 
and also divide by the derivative of the inside because see, I need to get rid of that, don't I? So when I integrate this, it's getting a bit messy here, but integrate dx, okay? So I'm not integrating the three, I'm gonna leave him out front, okay? So therefore, then it's gonna become, hopefully this is on screen, oh, just, I think so. Here we go, I'm gonna have three. Now this here is in that format, is in that format. So what I do is I write the function, raise it by power of one, and divide by the derivative of the inside to get rid of that, okay? So I'll add a little bit on here in a minute. So this is then gonna become, this part is just gonna become four X plus three cubed, raising the power by one. I've also got to divide by that, but I don't have to worry about this, because that really would have, let me add it in, that would have been canceled out by the derivative of the inside. So these are all gonna cancel out. So I'm left with that plus C. Now that is that guy. So I've kind of come full circle. Now you say, oh yeah, but it's got a plus C on it. Well, yes, this here could have had plus anything I like. And when I differentiated, it went, I lost it. So I've got to put plus C there to say I need to add something, I don't know what it is. All right, hopefully that's helped. That's, that's a lot of thinking in there, all right? Let's do a couple of examples here. Let's do a couple of examples. Oh, sorry, I didn't finish this. Right, so if we've got this format here, okay, then the integral of this, right, so I'm gonna go change that to be the integral of this dx, that's gonna become, raise the power by one, right, I'm gonna not write this guy, because I would divide by the derivative of the inside, but dividing by the derivative cancels this guy out. I've really just got to divide by the new power. Divide by the new power. So if you see something in this format and you can get the derivative out front, then this is what you do and divide by that and basically just, just forget about this guy. He's going to cancel out anyway, right? So if you can see that, that'd be good. Now, I'm kind of making my board work really messy here, but hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, now let's see a few examples. Right, this guy. Now, what is the derivative of that? The derivative is 2x. Look, I got him out front. So let's follow our rule. Isn't that gonna be, forget about him, raise the power by one, uh, five, divide by the new power, and plus c. Let's check a derivative here. Take the derivative. Power out front, he's gone, cancelled. Multiply by the derivative of the inside, 2x. Ah, oh, look, bingo, we're there. Perfect. Another one. Oh, this looks crazy, doesn't it? No, it's not really. I'm going to rewrite this, okay? Because, look, the derivative here is going to be 4x plus 3. In here, isn't that really four lots of that? Four lots of that. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to write a 4 here for the moment change that to a four, change that to a three. Same thing, isn't it? Haven't changed anything. A little bit step again, I'm gonna take this four and I'm gonna put him there. Because you remember, I can leave him out front. Doesn't make any difference. Right, now, we've got that sorted. So, this is now the derivative of that. So therefore, couldn't I just go, don't worry about that, just like I did here. Follow the rule, so it's gonna be 2x squared plus 3x plus four, raise the power by one, and divide by the new power. Don't forget this guy out front. We can put him back in. Oh, look, that's kinda of handy, isn't it? Look at this. He can go, he can go, put your plus C on the end, bingo. Now, with both of these, if you're unsure about your answer, differentiate it. If you don't get back here, You've done something wrong. Now, last one, this one. Have a look at that for a minute. This one's a bit of a tricky. It looks like, oh, you know, I raise the power by one and I do this and I do that and, and uh, there we go. No, no, the reason, why, 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 why is this a no? Well, see this here. The derivative of that is 2x. You didn't have 2x there. You don't have the derivative out front. You're not in this format. 
This is a bit of a trick question. It's wanting you to do it in this style, but you can't. Don't do it. Don't be tricked. This is what we do. With this one, I would do this, right? Square it. That one squared. Multiply the two and double it. Square it. Ah, it's an easy question now. Look at this. X to the 5 over 5 plus 2x cubed over 3 plus x plus c. Thanks very much. We're done. Now, you might say, yeah, but, but how am I going to use that? Well, yeah, that, that's kind of messy now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's nowhere near as neat as kind of this one or this one. But that's the right answer. You can't do this in this style because, like I say, you didn't have a 2x out front there. And you can't just make a 2x. Okay? I can put a constant in if I need to, but I can't make a 2x. Now, if think along those lines. If I went, oh, yes, 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 come on, come on. But why don't we just add in a 2x here? Oh, I can divide by 2x, and those two things will cancel anyway. You're right. This is okay in the first instance, but now if I want to integrate that, this is kind of a quotient rule question. Uh, what am I, how am I going to do this? I can't just ignore both of them. So this doesn't work. This doesn't work. You've got to see those tricky ones and go, wait, hang on. Maybe I expand this out and do it this way. All right. Hopefully this has helped. Yeah, there's a lot of thinking in here. And to be honest, to get the simple questions is not so hard. But when you get into the practical, the deeper questions, the ones that are trying to trick you, that's when if you don't understand this, it's kind of going to fall apart. Have a rewatch of this. Make sure you can understand this idea. You really need this one. Thanks, guys. See you later.